this morning, Lord God, laying down every weight, laying down every priority through the week. Father, we just surrender our hearts, our minds, our spirits, our flesh to you this morning, Lord God. We invite you in, God, and we ask that you would have your way this morning. I feel in my spirit that God is beckoning his people. That he is moving things in position for transition. The Bible tells us, and it's an end time scripture in 1 Thessalonians 4.16, that God will shout, that Jesus will shout from heaven with the voice of an archangel. And then the Bible says that the trumpet will blow, but it says that the first or those who are alive in Christ shall rise. That's an end time scripture, but I believe more than anything that God is doing the same thing in this season. That he's doing the same thing today. That there is a shout from heaven. And in this shout, God's people will begin to rise. You see, when we move as Christians in the name of Jesus, we operate on a different frequency. We hear from a different level. So I declare this morning in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, even during this Ezra fast, in the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, light of the world, hears at a different level. We're on a different frequency, a different sound wave in the name of Jesus. So I declare and I decree over your life as well as mine that we have supernatural hearing today that we hear God like never before today that instruction comes to us with such preciseness and clarity today in the name of Jesus oh we declare in Jesus name issues problems things that we've been trying to figure out oh it's going to come today Oh, we thank you, Lord God, for your instruction. We thank you, Lord God, for your voice. We thank you, Lord God, for the level, for the sound that is coming from heaven that has pricked our hearts. We thank you, Lord God, that our tuning is on, part, is on point with you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we hear you this morning, that we hear you this week. We thank you, Lord God, that the tongue of the enemy is stuck to the roof of his mouth. We thank you, Lord God, that the chatters, Lord God, of what's taking place in our society, what's taking place in our country, in our city, in our government. We thank you, Lord God, that your voice is the loudest voice that we hear. We thank you, Lord God, that your voice, and this is ironic, trumps the voice of the enemy. That your voice trumps Lord God the distractions of the enemy oh God we beam in on you Lord God and we declare Lord God that as we hear your voice that it will be accompanied Lord God by a vision that it will be accompanied by image that it will be accompanied Lord God by a different perspective today and in this season and this week that it will be accompanied Lord God by a new perspective yes Lord God shape and change Lord God and transform how we see things based upon how we're hearing things in the name of Jesus I speak life to deaf ears today in the name of Jesus what you didn't hear before you were here today in the name of Jesus I speak life to deaf ears today in the name of Jesus Father your word says that those with ears hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying I declare right now in the name of Jesus, you have ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Sadly, that's not everybody, but that is a manual light of the world. That is a manual light of the world. We hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And the Bible tells us that those 
who are led by my spirit are my sons. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we are part of your family. We thank you, Lord God, that we are being led, Lord God, with clarity in this season. We thank you, Lord God, that you have gone before us and made the crooked places straight. We thank you, Lord God, that you're still leading us by cloud, Lord God, that you're still leading us by fire. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not alone. We thank you, Lord God that your voice is present. Oh, we thank you for new instruction. We thank you, Lord God, for fresh manner, fresh revelation. We thank you, Lord God, for the solution to our problems. We thank you, Lord God, for a breakout and a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Oh, if you believe, shout hallelujah right where you're at. If you believe, shout hallelujah right where you're at. Oh, I have an expectation for new manna. I have an expectation for new revelation. We thank you, Lord God. Your word says, Lord God, that your voice is over the waters. We receive that. We receive that. We're made up of 70% of, of water. We thank you, Lord God, that you abide and your voice is over the waters. We ask that you would stir it up, Lord God. We ask that you will begin to stir up those waters on the inside of us today, Lord God. That they will begin to overflow out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. That they will begin to overflow, Lord God. And that we will begin to speak, decree, and declare on target today. Because of what we're hearing in the name of Jesus. Oh, this is Emmanuel, light of the world. In the name of Jesus. We're just a group of people dec decreeing and declaring what thus saith the Lord. And it shall manifest. It shall manifest. Hallelujah, God. We give you glory. Oh, you got to praise God. When you hear the voice of God, you know manifestation is on its way. When you hear the voice of God, you know God is moving. He's just waiting for someone to rise. He's just waiting for someone to say, I heard it. I heard it. We thank you, Lord God, for this season. For this season of clarity. We thank you, Lord God, for this week, Lord God, of instruction. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, for your blessed presence. We thank you, Lord God, that we hear you like never before today. We thank you, Lord God, that the instructions of the Most High are in our house, are in our home, are in our spirits. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not moving, Lord God, in the dark, but that your word says that your word is a light and a lamp unto our feet. We thank you, Lord God, that we're being led by you in this season. We thank you, Lord God, that we are instructed by the almighty God. Oh, we bless your name. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord God, that you're still leading your people by hand. We glorify you, God, and we thank you that you're still leading us, Lord God, by hand. We thank you, Lord God, that we're not wandering in the dark. Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise because you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful to your people. And we return that back to you, God. Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you for the word of instruction. We thank you for clarity. We thank you for this season of new bread and new revelation. Oh, Father, we receive it. We receive it now with everything that's in us. We raise our expectation to a whole nother level. We thank you, Lord God, for new sight, new perspective, and a new vantage point. As a result of a fresh word and we bless your name we glorify your name we thank you we give you a real true hallelujah a real true praise because we know we are victorious because we heard from our God oh we hear and have heard from our God oh and it's in Jesus name that we pray we decree and we declare that in Jesus name amen